Okay, Castric Bowcraft here today, and I uh, wanted to show you guys the unboxing of my uh, Tennessee Valley muzzle loading um, poor boy kit. I got the Tennessee rifle, Tennessee poor boy, and um, I'm going to be building this over the next few weeks. Anyway, I just got the box uh, today, and I'm going to open it up. In front of you all so you can uh, check it out uh, with me. I'll put the camera down and uh, get it uh, opened up. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up these uh, tapes here. It's all packed nice and uh, snug, and uh, I'm gonna take all this stuff out so we can see the rifle itself. Okay, so we got the thing out of the box, and um, this is the stock. It's a plain uh, maple stock, and I really like the grain patterns on here. Hopefully, it'll look that nice when we uh, when I get the, it sanded down and finished. Um, this is a kit gun, so there's some work that needs to be done. However, they did do a lot of work. Um, that it looks like I won't have to do. Uh, for instance, the barrel and the uh, tang has been 100% uh, inleted in which everything is fitting uh, pretty nicely. Um, they also fitted the, um, the breech plug into the barrel, which is a good thing. Uh, it looks like also, too, that the, uh, the, the uh, lock is 100% inleted as well. So that's a good thing. You know, um, this is a kit gun, so not all of the inletting will be complete. Um, like with the buttstock here, you know, it's cut in, but it's still got some work to do as far as getting it inletted. And um, all of the stuff that they did end up doing, um, I would have had no problems uh, with them not doing it because um, I kind of wanted to do all this kind of stuff because um, I just want to... Uh, you know, learn more about doing it and um, get more experience in doing that. They also drilled and tapped the uh, vent plug as well as drilled the hole for the lock bolt um, uh, hole through the, the uh, barrel or the uh, uh, breech plug lug and through the wood and, and they threaded the hole that it goes into. So that's, that's a cool thing too. Even though they did all that stuff, um, there's still uh, quite a bunch of work uh, left to do. I have to, um, you know, inlet the, uh, well, the trigger here, the trigger plate is, is uh, inletted, but it's not fully uh, inletted, so I might have to do some adjustment there. Um, got to ground off some of these uh, lugs off of this trigger guard and so I can get it put in here as well. I uh, got to ground off these lugs off the, uh, the butt plate. Um, but all in all, I really like the way uh, the thing looks so far. Um, as you know, I, I built a, a Northwest Trade Gun with parts that were from all different uh, companies, mix match parts. And um, this gun, I bought all the parts from one company. So all these parts supposedly are supposed to fit together. Here's the uh, rear sight here. Uh, this is the tip for the ramrod. Uh, these are the ramrod tubes. These are the, uh, the pins that uh, you got to install to hold the barrel and the tubes in and everything. Um, this is the front side here. And these are assorted uh, screws. So um, even though uh, uh, a lot of the work has been done, there's still plenty of work left to do. Um, it also came with uh, three page instructions as well. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, so I can't get... Uh, can't wait to get started on this thing um, and it only took about uh, two weeks for them to get my order and to ship it out uh, the, the the barrel itself is 42 inches long 
and it's a 54 caliber uh, barrel and um, of course it's a flintlock uh, muzzleloader all right so um, I don't know that I'll be filming a, uh, a build along with this this is only the uh, second uh, kit that I've built um, but instead I might just post a uh, like a picture uh, slideshow so you don't have to listen to me talk uh, during the whole process and uh, you just watch pictures and watch the thing get built. Anyway, so there you go. I've got uh, my uh, Tennessee uh, uh, Tennessee Long Rifle uh, Poor Boy 54 caliber uh, kit that I'm going to be building and starting uh, shortly. Castric Bowcraft, thanks for watching.